Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the Higher Grounds Podcast and today's Morning Minute Meditation. Glad you tuned in today. And uh, today, just want to talk to you a little bit about a man by the name of Enoch in the Bible. Enoch was a very interesting man in the Bible, not much known about him, really. And there's just a few verses in the Bible that talk about him. Uh, but I think there's a lot we could learn from old Enoch. And I think one of the greatest lessons that could be learned from the life of Enoch is the importance of how you live your own life. And, you know, I, I said it earlier, not much is known about Enoch. We, we know a few things. We know he was a prophet. We know that he walked with God. We know he was translated. He didn't see death. And we know, and I think this is one of the greatest things about his life, that he had this testimony about him that he pleased God. And I say, preacher, why is that important? Well, you see, in life, all of us, it's, it's a natural tendency of man. We want to have this, we want to be remembered after we're dead and gone. We want to be remembered as some great person that did some kind of great thing. It's just a natural tendency of man to want that done. But in reality, and we're just looking at the statistics here, the vast majority of us, after you're dead and gone, and at some years later, most folks aren't going to remember you. They're not going to remember what you did, especially. And they're not going to remember that time you stood up in church and you gave some great testimony that touched the hearts of the people and brought them weeping to the altar. They're not going to remember all the times you served God behind the scenes, uh, taking out trash, cleaning up the toilets in the church. They're not going to remember that. They're not going to remember the time you preached and you stirred the hearts of the people to repentance and you just, it was just such a great sermon, but chances are they're not going to remember. There's been many great sermons, great deeds done by Christians that simply died in the annals of history. Nobody knows them anymore. But Enoch, and he's similar to that. We don't know a lot of what Enoch did. We don't know any great, really great things that he did in his life. But we do know this. They had this testimony. He pleased God. Folks, most of them aren't going to remember what you've done after you're dead or even some years when you're still alive. They're, you're going to say, hey, you remember why I did such and such? They're going to say, no, I don't remember that. But you know what people will remember? They will remember how you lived your life. And God, he gave this example in the life of Enoch. As I said, not much known. But we do know how he lived his life, and we know that because he had a testimony that he pleased God. I hope the same can be said for you and me. It's been a simple thought, but I hope you have a blessed day.